I gotta say goodbye. Goodbye, boys. Why? I made up my mind. I'm going away. Then I took it alone. That turning into the desert is so gone. You were taken alone? What else can I do? Once you said to me, that peace and happiness let me down there. You gave me hope, and now. Now we have to say goodbye. Time. If you're lost, you cannot and you will find me. Time after time. If you follow, I will catch you. I'll be you waiting. Time after time. Say, go so I fall behind. The second hand on ones. If you're lost, you cannot and you will find me. Time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting. Time after time. If you're lost, you cannot, and you will find me. Time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. All will be waiting. Time after time. Find the message. Time after time. 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 Hey guys, it's Molly. You saw me shuffle, so I got all the cards out. The song I was listening to was Cindy Lauper, Time After Time. That's a song that popped in my head right when I got ready for this reading. Whoa, Gemini, you just shot right out. Okay, Gemini, this is for you. I'm just tapping in into the uh, energy today, and we'll just see what the energy is for today. And then uh, I'm going to pull, I'm going to get a message from your... Uh, so I'll tribe around the world, Gemini, and then I'm going to uh, also pull a spirit animal for you for uh, just for today. So that's kind of a fun one. All right, Gemini, you may be receiving some sort of message from somebody. Okay. All right, Gemini, so these are how the cards popped out. I'm just going to read them to you just as how they popped out with each individual little message. It may not flow super smoothly, but you'll understand. Okay, so these. We have the masculine here. He's looking at the feminine, and he thinks she is totally sexy. He wants to kiss her. He wants to make out with her. She really entices him. Uh, in, he's, like, uh, sexually attracted to her right now. The feminine makes uh, the masculine, uh, he may want to come around again. This is the goose. The goose, goose comes back around again. This is the masculine. Uh, he may be feeling like a doofus right now for some sort of childish behavior that he did. Um, we have uh, somebody showing up here. This is the feminine, I think, as the happiest card in the deck, the daisy. The daisy is uh, my happiest card. So I think the masculine sees the feminine as his daisy. The masculine did set, um, spend some time in the cave. He was uh, feeling, he had really serious issues of anxiety and feeling super prickly around people. He had spent quite a bit of time in the cave. He may have been watching uh, the feminine. This is the feminine here. She may be some sort of dancer. She may enjoy dancing, something along that line. She does have her own spirit guide that is helping her. And she has sort of enticed him to come out of the cave. 
All right. Uh, while he was in the cave, he was working on his shadows. Okay, he was just staying from afar and trying to figure it all out. In the past, this masculine may have been, uh, felt like a small peanut. Mr. Peanut here is, uh, he wears all this different bravado because he really feels like a small peanut. And this masculine may uh, have gone through a dark night of the soul or something uh, in the cave. Uh, because he's now seeing signs from the universe, okay? He may be really trying to work on his finances too, but he's definitely seeing signs from the universe about this relationship. Um, when he realizes he is seeing signs from the universe, he does want to stop whatever cycle this has been in. He realizes that the feminine has been there for him time after time. He's trying to make a judgment call right now. He may have a lot of people uh, that he has to deal with, a lot of people who follow him, a lot of people who nibble at his heels, uh, but he wants to go toward his feminine, okay? He does have some slinky feelings and feelings of anxiety. He may have been like a hungry, hungry hippo. So a hungry, hungry hippo is, if you look, a hippo, everybody thinks a hippo is uh, really cute and awesome, but they're actually very dangerous. Uh, the hippo is a hungry, hungry hippo because uh, it just wants to get the white pellets of love, and all it does is uh, <clears throat> snap and uh, be angry because it doesn't really, uh, it may not have, the hippo may not have been properly loved uh uh, or have received proper love in the past and it made this uh, masculine feel really, the masculine is a hippo, it made him feel really slinky. But he is coming uh, around, he may be uh, meditating in his own way, he may be finding some sort of aspect of spirituality. Uh, he has realized that the feminine has been there time after time. She is a calm source in his life and he is making a judgment about that. Okay. Oh, I want you to look at how this is. <laughs> so this is danger, but it's actually anger. <laughs> Somebody may have cleared out a throat chakra too. Spirit is here. Uh, they have helped this person. Uh, they may have been a player. They may have been a player uh, not given in to love. They may have thought love was nothing but bad luck. They may have had a lot of anger that they dealt with that uh, was toxic behavior. Uh, they may have had to work on uh, removing a lot of anger inside. And this is them. They are uh, going deep into their emotions. They have gone deep into their motions uh, in the deep sea. They were in the middle of the ocean working on all these anger issues on their aircraft carrier. Okay. Um, and then uh, I think I think they worked on all the issues and now they want to fly off the carrier and come toward the feminine super fast. This is my stealth. So they went deep into their emotions. They killed all their angry things, the things that caused them so much anger. And then they took the final plane and flew it off. Okay. And now uh, somebody is showing up centered within the yin and yang. Yes, they are balanced in their emotions. Fantastic. Uh, we have somebody showing up who wants to open up. They are looking toward uh, this person. This person, I think this is a masculine. He is now balanced in his emotions. He wants to drop the robe. He wants to open up to the feminine now. Uh, he wants to uh, bear himself to her. Okay. Uh, the feminine may be somebody uh, or the masculine. Uh, I think this is... Since he's looking at it, I think he uh, he may be seeing something that the feminine can do. She may have had some sort of activation. She may have had a DNA activation. She may be really good at music. Uh, this is a musician, my musician card. So he may be uh, healing some some way through music. 
All right, Gemini. There's your message, Gemini. All right. So, Gemini, now that we're done with that, let's see what your soul tribe from around the world wants to tell you, Gemini. Okay, this masculine did have problems with just kind of being a playboy, okay? They may have... Uh, just wanted to play the field, not get too deep into love because uh, that could be painful, but they do feel the love for the feminine. All right. They have truly realized she's been there time after time. Okay. Gemini, here's what your soul tribe around the world wants you to know. You will succeed today. Ooh, Gemini. Are you planning on doing it? Are you planning on doing something? If you're planning on doing something, or if your person is planning on doing something, Gemini, Spirit wants you to know you will succeed today. All right, Gemini. Woo! There's a whole bunch that popped up, so we're not going to take those. Actually, let's see what Spirit wanted you to see. Take the leap. This is the fool, Gemini. This is somebody who wants to take the leap to start something new. They may have uh, been fighting. There may have been some drama. Uh, they may have uh, been scared to take the leap because there was all these different things coming at them at once. But they see uh, their feminine. Here she is. She is the empress. Okay. Uh, she is always there for them time after time. Okay, she may have cool hair. This is a very loving person. This is a motherly figure. This is somebody who will always be there for you time after time. Uh, somebody wants to send in a message really quick. They want to come running toward the Empress. Okay. And they may offer some sort of apology. They may offer some sort of something that says, I'm sorry, I was... Uh, playing around while you were there for me time after time. I spilled the cup and I apologize. I was I was busy being a player. Um, just playing, playing. They may have been playing with emotions. They may have been uh, doing something, but they do see it. And so, uh, there may be an apology. Uh, you may get some sort of apology today, Gemini. Okay, what is Gemini's spirit animal? Gemini, we're not going to be uh, uh, really paying attention to the meaning of the card with the next one that pops out. We're going to look at the animal. And if you see that animal today anywhere on TV, in print, in real life, anything, that's a little nod from the universe that says, hey, we got your back. What is Gemini's spirit animal for today? Gemini, 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 Gemini. He's a funny guy. Gemini. Okay. Why are they keep showing me all of these, Gemini? Okay, so uh, you, got <laughs> you got quite a bit. Okay, Gemini, somebody may be coming towards you. Uh, I just keep getting these messages to heal some sort of energy uh, between you guys. It could be the player. Here he is right now. He may have been a knight of wands, but now he's, been, now he's upgraded himself to a king of wands. He realizes. All right. He may be coming to you on his belly, Gemini, to ask for an exciting new beginning. Uh, this is the cup that spilled. Uh, originally, here it is, and now this masculine wants to honor this love. He doesn't want to spill it anymore. He knows she's been there for him time after time. All right. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is my wife figure. The masculine sees her as the Queen of Pentacles. This is my wife figure. This is uh, somebody may be working hard for their pentacle right now. They may be really tired. They may be uh, knowing they're doing good work, though. Um, and this masculine sees the effort that this Queen of Pentacles, this Empress, puts in, and he admires it. All right, so Gemini, your spirit animal today is going to be the piggy. Yes, if you see a pig anywhere, 
Uh, that's your little nod from the universe. All right, Gemini. I'll put that song down in the comments. Make sure you watch it. It's part of your message. All right, peace out, Gemini. Have a great day today. If you like how I read, hit like and subscribe. You can join the Star Gang. We're just learning life lessons in a cool and unique way. If you want to cruise my Etsy shop, I have all sorts of fun decks available there. There is a link right in my description. All right, have a great day, Jim.